energy is what makes things go, run, or happen. So let's make something happen, say with this big box of water. See, when we filled this box, we lifted the water, lifted the water, lifted the water up here. And when we did, we gave it some energy. Think about it. You have to work to lift a bucket of water. So when you lift it, the energy of lifting is stored up here. I'll prove it to you. When we open this valve, water flows downhill and runs this little propeller. The propeller spins and runs a little generator, which makes a small amount of electricity. It runs through this wire and makes this needle move. Some of our electricity is made by falling water at huge dams that have huge propellers. When energy is stored, we call it potential, potential, potential energy. It has the potential to do something. When it's moving, we call it kinetic, kinetic, kinetic energy. Kinetic means moving. Now this setup converts the potential energy that we put into the water by lifting it to a form of kinetic energy, the energy of the flow. And the flowing water makes electrical energy. Kinetic energy was converted to electrical energy. Energy was changed from one form to another. Not bad. You know, I'm kind of out of energy. We're just going to go. We're not going to rehearse. Good. Love it. OK, here we go. Here we go. Right now, this bowling ball has energy. It's not moving, but it's got energy. Please consider the following. You ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Ha ha ha! It looked like it was gonna smack me right in the head, didn't it? I mean, it's a bowling ball. It would knock me pretty good. But it'll never hit you in the head. Because when we pulled the bowling ball back from the middle, we gave it potential energy. When we let go of it, it had kinetic energy. <laughs> the kinetic energy will never be bigger than the potential energy. It's only going to have as much energy as we gave it when we pull it up here from the center. It works every time, unless, unless uh, you give it a push or something.
I flinch. Because the laws of science differ fundamentally. Indeed, everything that moves has energy. Even the air around us. Once air is moving, it has the energy to drive windmills. Just as when water is moving, it has the energy to drive water mills. But if every moving thing has kinetic energy, does that mean that things which aren't moving don't have energy? In that case, why are you staring up at that rock perched on the edge of the cliff? Why be frightened of it? It can't have any kinetic energy because it's not moving. And if it hasn't any kinetic energy, it can't do any work on you, can it? But maybe you'd better move out of the way all the same. Why? Because of the rock's position on the edge of the cliff. It hasn't any movement so far, but it looks as if it's on the point of having quite a lot of movement any minute now. Because the force of gravity wants very much to make it fall off the cliff. That means that, in a sense, mm. the rock has a lot of energy stored up in it. Mm. A lot of what scientists call potential energy. Or the energy of position. The slightest puff of wind, and that potential energy will immediately start being transformed into kinetic energy. Mm. That's how the energy of position becomes the energy of movement. Uh-oh. Don't look now. But it's time to use some more kinetic energy to do some more work on that giant. Whoops. Hold on. What's happening? Let's do that again in slow motion. The stone lost more and more speed as it left your sling because of the force of gravity trying to pull it down. The higher it got, the slower it went and the less kinetic energy it had. Until at last it came to a complete stop and had no kinetic energy left in it at all. And therefore, no work in it and no force that it could exert on the giant. But where did all that kinetic energy go? Is it lost forever? No. It's being transformed into potential energy. The work that the little man put into slinging the stone is now stored up in the stone. But of course, in reality, the stone only stops for a split second and then immediately starts coming down again until it has got back all the kinetic energy that it had in the first place. Meanwhile, back at the cliff edge, the giant finds all this very amusing. But he'd better watch out because most of the kinetic energy it took for him to climb up to the top of the cliff is now stored in him by virtue of his position. He's full of potential energy just waiting to be converted back into kinetic energy any minute now. Timber! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>